This is an initial video on the EBAC dehumidifier that I have, we've just got for the house. We've had it for about a month now, I believe. And so we've kind of got an idea of its noise levels and that. It's a very good machine. It's actually quieter than the other one that you can see me comparing in the video that I put on the screen now. That's a very old one. That has a 10 litre water tank. The EBAC has a 2.5 litre, I believe it is. Smaller. I, we empty it every couple of days maybe. And uh, as it's early October time, we put it on because that's what the recommendation was this time of the year, get ahead of it, put it on, draw any moisture out of the house before it actually starts. So we found that very good. It does draw a lot of moisture out and the house is warmer on the upper floor where it is. You could put it on the lower floor if you wanted to, but it's quite a noisy unit. And when it kicks in, it kicks in like a fridge, but a very, very loud fridge. It's no way like your fridge that you've probably got at home or fridge freezer, and you hear that kick, kick in if it's a modern one, it's loud-ish. This thing is like, boom, it's very loud. I haven't managed to catch it on video because it only comes in now and again. It's a very nice unit though. The um, different speeds it has on there, the two speeds when you push the button and you can change the speeds manually. You can set it to dry your washing, which puts it onto the double speed and you can set that for two hours, four hours or eight hours. We found it very, very good at drying our washing. I have no complaints there whatsoever because if you've got the, if it's raining outside, your heating's on anyway, then you may as well put the wash in there, let the heating dry the washing and have the dehumidifier take the water out of the air. And then you've got the best of both worlds. Why run a, um, why run a tumble dry when you, can do that and have the added benefit of having a hotter house and your um, temperature on your heating down a little bit, one or two uh, degrees. It is loud at night. Um, EBAC recommend that you put it away from your bedroom down the hall, which if you're living in a house with multiple occupants and it's, it's designed for um, six bedroom houses, then whose room are you going to put it outside? Because no matter whatever room you put outside, they're going to hear it. We, we are lucky enough that we can put it down the hall, shut the door in our bedroom and we wouldn't hear it, but we do like to leave the uh, door open, obviously for air circulation when we sleep. So we've taken to switching it off now at night and uh, only putting it on again in the morning. And we found that the best way. Otherwise, if you leave your doors open, even if it's down the hall, I don't know how long your hall has got to be where it wouldn't disturb you because when that compressor kicks in, it's bang, it's a big, you know, it's a loud noise. So the actual noise of the machine itself is quieter than the older one that we've replaced it with because when we're sat down in the living room, it is not generally as loud, but it is still quite a loud machine and so depending on where you put it, it could be intrusive in your life. And so you may like decide that you want a tumble dryer in that sense because you don't want the sound of that intruding on your life, depending on how you live your life and how sensitive you are to noise. We bought ours from Woolicots in the UK because it was uh, easy delivery and my wife likes to shop with them. You can buy it direct from the website, which we would have done anyway, but we just did it through them because it was just a simpler process. And I don't know what else to say.